rock, paper, scissors, shoot hand that you could never win. This is a waste separation robot and it separates waste based on what type of waste it is, whether it's bottles, cans, glass, and it uses cameras and CV to identify which waste should go in which receptacle bin. I hold it like there, I scan that. It knows, it, it recognizes the characters, right? Yep. It translates it into sign language for hearing impaired. Take this cake and I, there's no barcode, no QR code on it. I just put it here. It knows what I have, so I, and I hit scan to pay. Yeah. Yeah, scan to pay. So this is very similar to Amazon Go. You know, Amazon Go has hundreds of cameras around, so Amazon Go can really be only put in like really specific places. But this you can probably put everywhere. So when I was a kid, we would, you know, use our computer to play video games. Now a lot of kids are using their phones to play video games. I bet in the future everyone is going to be using this to play video games. This game has a really good benefit. It's actually a really fun way to lose weight because it's a really great form of exercise. So in New York, to get into a subway, it's really annoying. You have to use the Metro card. You have to swipe in a certain manner. But here in China, they're already using QR codes to swipe to swipe into the Metro. So you would just take your phone and just like scan it here. But now they have a new technology that's using face. So right here, I have a sample human. His face is already in the system, and we'll use his sample face to just enter the subway. So there's a car right here. It sells water. So basically, click yeah. best purchase in Chinese. Okay. <laughs> so you just spent money. I just spent money. And basically, take that out. So where are you from? I'm from New Jersey, in the United States. From the Netherlands. And uh, is this your first time in China? No, I've been here a couple of times. I'm from the Netherlands and I work in Huawei headquarters in Shenzhen and I'm their chief digital transformation officer in the enterprise business group. We in the U.S. Uh, think that we're so far ahead of, of the rest of the world, but you come to China and you see that digital is really more advanced here. For example, uh, the use of digital payments. Uh, you don't really see someone take out a credit card because they have on their smartphone or on their uh, watch an app that lets them uh, pay immediately. So I think we have a lot to learn from each other and particularly in the U.S. we have a lot to learn from, from China by coming here with an open mind and learning. China is way ahead of the rest of the world based on technology and... How does Huawei compare to, let's say, the leading European c companies? They are superior. They are ahead. And I think many companies in China and domain of AI are ahead of, especially in Europe, but also from the US perspective. I have a mobile wallet, just like everybody else here. It, uh, uh, I really think on that side of the equation, China is way ahead of the game, way ahead of the game. I pay my rent, I pay my utilities, my electricity, my gas, my, 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 my taxis, my, my air tickets, my hotels, my truck. Everything is here with your mobile phone that is, I think, in Europe about to start and about to pick up so that they are way ahead of the game on that one. So there's a lot of technology, let's say like high-speed trains, e-commerce, shared bicycles and mobile payments that are that are really already very developed in China, developed more than let's say in the US. I hope everyone pays just a little bit more attention to China and China's technology. <laughs>